Today we're looking at Silly Tavern, an interactive game where you can set up worlds, lore, you can set up interactive characters that you can talk to, like my friend over here. We can of move course, around her. Dear, dear. You need you your I won't send her any more messages so I can explain. This is Silly Tavern, a platform where you can create characters. You can give characters backgrounds, personalities. You can have characters talk to other characters that you created, and you can have them have group chats. We can do Earth RPG simulations or D&D Game Masters. And then on top of all that, you can actually set up worlds and lores so all your characters know and understand the world and work within the world. And you can see, we can talk to them back and forth. We can get the character and like we can move them around and we can see they are alive, they are real. Imagine Grok Companions, but you can do this all locally on your own computer. However, there's a problem if you want to install Silly Tavern on your own computer, it is very complex to set up. So I found a way to make the entire process extremely easy, and I'm going to have it done before Ellie in the background here can make coffee. And she knows how to make coffee. I have no clue what I'm doing. We are going to have a race. All right, Ellie, are you ready? Yeah. All right, on your mark, get set, go. All right, I hit deploy. The website is loading now. It says, what domain do we want? So we're just gonna put in our domain and we can say confirm and it is loading. And now we can see our project here. It is starting up. How's the coffee coming, Ellie? That's okay. Do you have it? Uh, yeah. It, oh, oh, she has it going now. It is starting. We can say back to project. Let's see here. All right, it is, it is loading. All right, Ellie, how's it going? Uh, it's going good. I think I'm going to win. Oh, I think it's done. Hold on a second. It says username and password. I don't know what it is. Let's come back here on the screen. We have an overview. There are instructions. So we have a default username and a default password. All right. So let's see this. User. Oh, hold on. If I can type. And now password. Oh, I heard it stop. Are you done? No, it hasn't even started pouring. Oof. Well, that doesn't matter because I have won. I've installed Silly Tavern before Ellie made her cup of coffee. I had no clue what I was doing. It was that easy. Just one click, hit deploy, I made it. Her coffee is now coming out. You can hear it. And Ellie is drinking coffee out of the best mug there is. This is the AI Dana mug. We now have our own Silly Tavern hosted and it was super easy to do. It runs 24 seven. We don't have to worry about security. We can give passwords and usernames out to friends and family so they can join and have some fun. But I want to take you through Silly Tavern itself and the feature set is just mind blowing. The number of features that are on this application is probably more, more options on one single AI application than I think I've ever seen on a single AI application. So the UI looks really simple, right? Well, at the top here, we can click this one, and this is going to help us decide the output of the large language model. So if you know AI Studio, this is on the right of that. If you do any like local installed large language models, you have access to all of this different stuff here. They have presets. So we can adjust the presets if we want, and we can change how the model outputs information, which is helpful when we are playing. The next one here is API connections. And for this to work, what you want to do is you want to click this button here, which is register. You're going to come here. You're going to put in a display name. It's going to give you an API key. You come back, put it here, and then you hit save and connect. Then you can select a model and you can see there are a bunch of different models you can pick from. I opted for the role playing model just because it makes the most sense for what we're trying to do. Up next, we have API response formatting. And yes, you can change every single aspect of everything. This is like your world and you can do whatever you want. We have world info. So I actually started playing around with the world info a little bit myself. You can actually see, we can import a world. We can click one, we can change the content. So I, I tried to be funny. I made it more of like a computer world. So you're like in local host and you're new here. And then like our threats are like glitches and bugs and we can see all the different things. So we can actually start building the entire like lore around our world and how it all interconnects and how it all works when we're talking to the model. Up next, we have user settings. And like I said, there are a ridiculous number of options. So we can see all of this. We can adjust like the chat width. We can adjust the font size. We can adjust literally 
anything and everything you can think of, there's an option for it somewhere in the settings. Uh, the keyword is somewhere. We can adjust the background. So right now we just have a black background. We can make it white. We can have all these different things that we can pick from. So let's go with this one here. Let's go with Tavern Day because why not? And then we can come here. This is all different extensions. So we can actually download different extensions, assets, all sorts of stuff. Like I said, it is absolutely insane the number of things you can do. Now we are in Persona Management. So we can see I was playing around with like a Dungeon Master. So if you've ever played D&D, &D, you can have your own D&D, &D, but online and you can play anytime you want. Then I had my own character. So because Silly Tavern is so popular, you can actually just go into like an AI model and say, hey, can you create me a Persona description for Silly Tavern? It's able to pull this all off. For you. So lastly, you can go to character management. I did adjust the width and let me just move myself out of the way. I don't have my transparent background today. So you can see here, we can click this icon here and we can see the different people we can talk to. So we can talk to the game master and we can click that and we can see all the different information for our game master itself. On the left here, we are now talking to our game master. We can actually click down here and we can just start talking and you can see what the game master has told us. So they're setting the stage for us. So it said, tell me what hero do you wish to be? Describe the world you want to inhabit in the first steps of your journey. So it says, provide me clay and I shall breathe life into it. So I just said, I want to be Franklin, a programmer who uses coding skill and knowledge of AI to help him get up through problems. So we're going to see the model, the game master is going to start building a world, a game around what we want. And we can see here, ah, another creative mind. And we are literally building a world and we're actually able to play this like back and forth fun game based off all the different characters. But if we come back to character management for a second, you can see here, this is all individual chats. So we can go to like the assistant and you can see this is the one I was playing around with. We can come back here. We can talk to this bot here and we can have a conversation. We can also come back and we can create a group chat amongst all the different characters in our world. And we can connect our characters to the world info that we had before. Where it gets really, really cool is, I'm gonna just leave this open for a second. You can see here, we can actually import contents from a URL. So we're gonna click that and they have all these different options. So I'm gonna come over here and there is a ton of different characters we can just import. So there was actually one I want to try, which is this Earth RPG simulator. So if we click this, it's going to load up this page here. We can click copy on this like, ST card ID, we're going to go back to our silly tavern and we're going to hit enter. Now we can hit import. What's going to happen is it's going to import that entire character and we can hit import all and check this out. We now have our earth RPG simulator and that earth RPG simulator can actually work and talk with our game master. So we have our game master here. We can now make it interconnect with our earth RPG simulator. So this one is, as you wake up, the morning light peeks through the window of your bedroom. You find yourself in a cozy room and it just kind of goes on. It tells you the time. It says, what would you like to do today? The world is yours to explore. All right. I want to go get food and come on earth RPG simulator. What will happen next? You head out the door and make your way bustling streets of the big city, determined to find the perfect breakfast spot. As you wander, you notice a small French bistro a couple of blocks away. Now I'm gonna up the game. I'm gonna show you what I did in the intro of this video and how to set that up. And the really the power of Zabur and how you have full control over your entire setup for your silly tavern game. All right, so I have it here and you can kind of see it all, but I'm gonna take you through this step by step. And I've tried to simplify this as much as humanly possible. So first you want to go to extensions and you want to go to download extensions and assets. From here, you want to load your assets and it's going to ask you, do you want to load them? And you're going to get a big, massive list of extensions that you can just download and quickly use. And the ones I'm going to show you just scratch the surface of what's possible. So I'm going to just scroll down here and you guys will see we need this one here, speech recognition. This will allow you to use your speech and it can convert it and you can just talk to your character if you like. And then really the important one is VRM. So this adds support for an actual model. So once you have these two installed, you're going to see other options down here. If we go to VRM, you're going to see something that looks like this here. We can adjust the light color, the intensity. We can choose our character because I have a character that I set up here 
which is what I showed you earlier, we can actually click the character and then we can select the model we want to use. When you go to do this, you're not going to see a model. It's not going to show. To get a model, you're going to come back to Zabur over here. You're going to go to your overview. And here we're going to click command. And I've made this as simple as possible. I'm going to put this in the comments below. You can right click, you can hit paste. And there is just this little command that I have for you that is going to go to GitHub. It's going to clone a repository. It's going to move the files in the proper location. And then it's going to delete the folders and files it doesn't need. Once that's all done, you come back here, your VRM model is going to have actual characters. So you can assign a character to the VRM model. So guess what? Now you have access to an actual character that you can talk to and she shows actual emotion. So we can say, are you happy? And we can see what she says and we can see her response. So she thought for four seconds and now she can talk back to us. And she says, and now we Seraphina can see what smile, smile softens for. So if you can see here, it actually reads it out to me, anything in quotes, because I have enabled TTS playback. So it actually talks back to me, which is really, really cool. We can take our character and we can move her around if we want. We can use the cursor to make her bigger. We can make her smaller. And then if we hold control, we can move her around and you can like spin her all the way around. We have full control over our character, the conversations, the world, the chat, everything. We control it all. Imagine playing Dungeons and Dragons, but you can control every aspect of every single character, or you can assign characters with different AI roles, different backgrounds, different story plots. You can take silly tavern and have a lot of fun with it and then to make it all much better you can host silly tavern online 24 7 and it is super easy to do if you start to look into setup processes for silly tavern you're going to notice very quickly it's a very complex thing to set up this is the easiest way to do it this is the easiest way i've found to date and it's literally like one click faster than Ellie can make coffee. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Love to know what you think as always. Don't forget to subscribe and cover AI on a daily basis. You get a wide range of AI applications from silly tavern to coding to everything in between, whatever that may be. Like the video, it tells the algorithm you enjoy this tough content and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. So